good evening YouTube family and welcome back to my channel I'm going to do the op art type painting but this time my colors are going to be black and gold and that's because my daughter her room is um, she has black and gold primarily in there and so she wanted this piece and she said oh I'll, I'll pay you for it it's my daughter of course it's free but um I'm flattered. <laughs> Let's hope she likes it. Okay, so here we go. And so the color is black, jet black, and the colors are jet black and this deco art metallic gold. Okay, whoops. And I'm gonna do the same type uh, I'm going to start out the same way I did with the black and white. I'm going to cover my canvas completely with the black and then come back and do the gold. Now, those of you that have done op art, maybe there's a, a better way to do it, but this is only my second attempt at the op art and um, this is how I'm going to do it. So if you have any suggestions, by all means, please put them in the comments, help a sister out. And I will be happy to implement those. Yeah, I think I need a little more. That weather's trying to get spring-like out here. I'm trying to hurry it along, hurry it along. My husband and I got to spend some time out today. We got to go out of town and just, you know, have some time together. You need to do that regularly with your spouse. And, um, you know, to keep that flame burning. <laughs> keep that flame burning. Oh, there's little bubbles. This is paint that I already had mixed, but I, you know, I just had to freshen it by shaking it up. So it has some bubbles in it. And now I just want to come down the sides. So I got my little heat gun out. <laughs> one of my pink fingertips okay oh, I see a little bit of a I can see the canvas peeking through just a little bit right there okay now let's begin with the metallic gold <clears throat> Now when this dries, I can come back and clean it up a little dab. Well, it'll be more than a little dab, but you know, you know what I mean. Okay, I'm going to do the opposite because I think that would be the easiest. Oh, 
oops, a little messy with it again. I can come back either with paint to clean that up, no bubbles, or with my gold metallic marker. Although I think this, the paint is a better quality gold. It's a richer gold than the marker. Getting windmill vibes. Okay, it's a little trickier here. I get excited to see the finish and uh, I start rushing. Don't do that. <laughs> Like I said, when that dries, I can come back and fix that. One off the side there. I kind of lost that line a little bit. Okay. these bubbles who are not invited. No. The picture that I have in mind was done in black and white. This is not quite giving me the picture that I have in mind, but we'll see. Sometimes you just have to wait to the finish, you know? Oops. I don't like that. And let your art evolve as you work with it. Because you, sometimes you don't get what you exactly what you wanted but you know it, it's still art and it gives you something to strive for <laughs>
in terms of your art, you know, that elusive picture that you have in your mind. If it doesn't work the first time, no worries. You can paint over it or just try again on another canvas. I like the pattern that I'm seeing on the outer. The center needs some love. I like the contrast. that when you paint this it yourself <laughs> we need to speak kindly to ourselves okay I like it. here's what I'm seeing this half my lines are thick thick as my daughter says <laughs> over here scanty so do I want to try to fix that now or later <laughs> no bubbles invited. Black in the middle of there. There we go. Has to be right on top. Over these bubbles. Annoying. Now, I wouldn't have to deal with the <laughs> gold disappearing if I were patient and waited until the black dried. the lines looking a little more consistent. I don't know if you can see that. Part of my problem is the tool that I'm using to paint with because ideally the lines would be even closer together. Okay, so I like this section, this one, that one, this one, and this one. This needs some major love. <laughs> it's running off the canvas. So, let me see. All right. I should have left it alone. 
is going to have to dry and then we'll do some repair work. But, oh no, you know, oh, I see these, these right here need some, but I'm going to wait until it dries because the, you'll see what I mean when it's finished. This right here, when it dries, I can come back with black to shape that and the ones that are hungry looking these lines I can come back with the gold but I won't have to worry about my paint shifting as it's doing here so I'm gonna let it dry and then I can come back and do that gold line better and I can redo the black and I need to give the center some love as well once it dries so I'm ready to revisit this painting the first art painting that I did for my daughter and when it was laying flat drying it looked pretty and I could see the pattern very well I can still see the pattern but it shifted a little bit right here see how it's kind of warped just a little so this is after me doing a little bit of cleaning up some of the lines that were fat and where some of the paint shifted I came back with some black paint and covered that up so now I'm coming back with some gold paint to kind of make the lines a little more even oh I do want to show you this because I had fun with this I'm telling you Dollar Tree is everything for the artist and the crafter this sign came from Dollar Tree and it was just bare wood like this but I painted this on there you know I just kind of wanted that sunset look but I like that in my studio so anyway I did a little rearranging in my studio too the colors um, because I had some in over here but I needed more space but yet I need my colors accessible. This is what I'm gonna be painting next, that birdhouse. But I needed those colors accessible. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys visit my channel. And I hope you get inspired. I like getting inspired by other artists and the way to get inspired is by watching other artists getting out of nature and looking at magazines and not just art magazines there's art everywhere For the comic books the the artwork in there was just fantastic and in you know the color that you see in the garden the variety of colors is just wow the sunset Yes, art is everywhere. So get out there and appreciate it. This gold metallic pen from Dollar Tree that I talked about, I suspected as much that it was the not the right color. But, okay, just to, like for example, can you see that? Okay. Of course it's not gonna do it. Let's dip it in water. There we go, now it's back. this gold compared to this gold and this gold more closely matches the gold that my daughter has in her room it's in her curtains on her sham her pillow shams on her blanket so obvious the contrast the bigger problem actually was the shifting of the paint I didn't let the black dry first before I came back with the bowl. I'm paying for it now. Okay. I 
I appreciate you tuning in, watching my videos, and just being a part, you know, come and hanging out with me. And I hope you keep coming back. Considering the fact that it got warped, um, you know, when it was drying, I don't think it's too bad. And I appreciate you being here. Thanks so much for watching.